What's up guys, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. And today we're gonna talk about why Surface Pro 3s are great tablet computer combos to use inside photo booths. Let's get into it. Okay, you could use any Surface Pro really, but uh, I chose Surface Pro 3 because they're a great price and they're perfectly capable for everything that you need. All right, let's head over to my photo booth shop. Okay, so for all you photo boothers out there, with DSLR booth, uh, sometimes it doesn't register the main camera and then it will default to the, to the uh, camera inside the tablet. So we have Surface Pros inside these photo booths and um, I just fired it up to upload the pictures for the client and lo and behold, the camera is not uh, registering. So I just go to the back of the photo booth here and um, just turn the camera off and then turn it back on again. Okay, it's not powering on, so let's check the plug. Oh, down below there. You see the plug's not plugged in? So that's kind of the first troubleshooting, so. Okay, so I plug the plug in. Turn it on. Okay, so now the camera fires up. And there, now it shows that the uh, camera is registered there, so it's all good. But uh, if you're building a photo booth, try and use a Surface Pro, and then you see right there, there's the little camera at the top. If you leave that camera out, uh, then if there's problems with the DSLR camera, then it will automatically default to the uh, the camera that's included in the tablet. So you have a backup. So you have best quality photos, backup quality photos. And then basically all you wanna do, um, see the, the light up here works with the camera, right? So if you eliminate the camera, then it won't know when to fire the flash. But all you have to do is just turn the modeling light around and then it will light up in front of the photo booth area so that uh, the uh, the webcam pictures will turn bright enough to be passable as backup photo booth pictures. All right, let's give this thing a test. Perfect. Okay, so this photo booth set up to choose an effect. So after they're all done, it's like, ooh, let's go black and white. And next. And then there it is. You can either email it or text it to your guests. It's pretty sweet. So right now we have a Canon uh, Rebel XS in there. So we click on it and then, okay, so it's Microsoft life cam front so click on that and now when they click on it it switches to this camera you see it's glowing up there now and see still takes pretty good pictures uh at close range they're a little more pixelated but obviously dslr cameras are better so uh works great at night it would be a little worse so you would need uh something like this light shining on the guests Perfect, works the same way. This time we want the blue effect. All right, next. And then we'll text that to us. If you're looking for a video on how to build these photo booths, uh, well, I've got lots of videos that show the building process that I took to build these, but I've also taken that extra, I've also taken that extra step to uh, make plans that give you measurements and uh, cutting files that you can use on a CNC machine or that you could just follow as a guide. So uh, check those out. You can click uh, the link to uh, go download those. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this little video. Um, got lots more to come. We're, as it slows down in the rental season, we're just gonna be going photo booth crazy. I'm gonna be telling you everything I know about photo booths and showing you uh, the ins and outs, everything. So uh, subscribe and press that little bell to get all those updates. Thanks for watching. You stay classy. I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of information. If you did, uh, make sure and press that like button, uh, sub to the channel, click the little bell uh, to be notified with all my new videos. You stay classy.